just Z-Fan left on his own in a 1v3. Well, I mean, if it's a okay. player at all, it's going to be a Z-Fan, Mr. Big YouTuber. Um, it looks like Trickster now getting knocked. It's going to be only Jad G left alive. He do it. This is going in his next video for sure on YouTube 200% of the time. Gonna be playing up towards the ground floor. Oh! Oh! Uh, Z-Fan gave him no time. This video will correct all your understanding about joystick size and the position in PUBG Mobile. Hello guys, this is Shifan. Do you often find your movement bad or awkward in game? Or it's not as smooth as all the pros like Jonathan you see online? You may be wondering, it has to be something wrong with my joystick size or position. I need to know his joystick size right now. Well, if you are facing joystick problem and think like that, you need to watch the video till the end. I'm also reaching 20k on Instagram. If you want to watch my scrims and the tournament clips, make sure you follow me there as well. Well, I mean, if it's a player at all, it's going to be a sheep and Mr. Big YouTuber. The very first thing I want to talk about is that the different control loadout have different settings for the joystick you're using. I often see viewers asking pros what size their joystick is, but they don't even use the same control loadout. Now let's dive deeper into the first control loadout now. As someone who used this loadout before, I experienced the same thing as you guys did. My movement was awkward no matter what size or position I chose. This is a common mistake among players, because we don't fully understand how joystick works in the first control loadout. If you're using this loadout, the whole left screen can be used for movement. The first touch point of your left thumb will be the center of the joystick. Therefore, the position of your joystick here does not matter. You may be wondering now, does size matter then? Let's see the test here. As you can see, my pencil moved the same distance no matter what size I chose for the joystick. Therefore, the size of your joystick does not matter either in the first control loadout. You can just set your joystick to the smallest size and put it anywhere you like. Now, some of you may call me a liar right now, because you think you can feel the difference when adjusting different sizes. But unfortunately, your eyes are tricking you when you don't make your joystick completely invisible, which makes your attention distracted while playing. I'm going to skip the second control loadout because I don't think anyone used that. Let's go to the third control loadout now. This is when the size and the position matter. You can only move your character while touching inside of the joystick. Any other area will be used for controlling camera. If you want to know more about this loadout and how to practice it, check this video out. You need to use big joystick and put the joystick right underneath your natural thumb resting position for easier control. This is the reason why you see some Chinese pros use a big joystick, because they are not using the first control loadout. And make sure you set the transparency to be at least 50%. It will also help you to use it comfortably as well. Why do pros prefer the third control loadout if it's hard to use them? Now, let's talk about pros and cons for each loadout. The advantage for the first loadout is that it's very easy to use, even if you are a beginner and you can rarely make mistakes. Well, it has slower actuation point for sprinting. This is what makes the third control loadout special. You will always have a slightly advantage when you can just move earlier than your enemies using the first loadout, giving the enemy illusion that you can move slightly faster than them. It will also give you precise movement as well. The downside of this is that this is hard to learn and adjust. 
you will often touch outside of your joystick and make lots of mistakes like looking up the sky if the control is not fully mastered. This is a highly requested video by you guys. Make sure you subscribe and like the video if you find the content helpful. Does size really matter? I want to hear it loud and clear in the comment section down below. See you guys in the next one.